how does that sound? Incredible. This is a really big sensation. This is a dream. A dream when I was young. So I'm really happy, yeah. What does Manchester United mean to you? For me, United, this is, this is the football. This is one of the, the first clubs ever to be in football. And for me to play there, this is incredible, yeah. The fun, the stadium, everything, everything. I was looking through your Instagram yesterday. Yeah. The amount of comments saying, welcome to Manchester United. Yeah, <laughs> the, the fans are really, this is impressive. This yeah. is uh, this is crazy. Yeah. yeah. Is this the the first thing where you realise how how big the support is? Yeah, how yeah, passionate yeah. people are. Every second, I receive a message for, <laughs> from United fans. So yeah, they are really really present in the, the social media and everywhere. Everywhere you go, there is United fans. So it's crazy. Your career so far, two years. It's gone up yeah. and up, and it's been very quick. Yeah. Tell us about what it's been like. How have you enjoyed the, that, that fast development playing in Liga? Yeah, of course, I uh, enjoy it, but uh, you need to be to be really focused because for some people, when when your career go fast like this, sometimes it's difficult. But there's my family; they help me a lot to to keep my my feet in the ground, and for me, it's really important. Yeah. Um, and what kind of defender are you? If there are United fans who haven't seen you play in Ligue 1 or in Europe, how would you describe Lenny Euro, the centre-back? The football of today, you need to, to read the game, you need to understand the, the opponent and yeah, I try really to be focused on that. And after I'm really comfortable with the ball, you know, I'm not afraid to play, so yeah. yeah. Who's the player so far? you've most enjoyed playing against? I really like to play against, of course, Mbappe. It was really, a really big, 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 big duel. So, yeah, for me, it helped me a lot to, to improve myself. And it was good against only one Kings, yeah. because this is a big, the big striker there. And, yeah, it was really good. One of the things people have praised you for in these first two years in senior football is your mentality. Other people in the in the Lille squad have talked about you're, you're quite mature. Where do you think that comes from? Where where do you get that calm mentality from? Honestly, I don't know. Yeah. This is this is like this. This is myself because for me this is normal. One of the things I saw on your Instagram is a, a like a regular motto. Yeah. Hashtag God did. <laughs> Can you talk us through that? Yeah, this is something that one rapper in America said. This is DJ Khaled. So, yeah, I really trust God. You know, for me, it's really important to, to have the face. And for me, it was really good to, to put this on, on my post for to, to thank God, or to thank God, because if I'm there, this is because of him. And yeah, for me, it's important. Three, two, one. What's the manager said? Have you spoken to the manager yet about the move and how he sees you as, as part of the team now? Yeah, we spoke with the manager. I know this is a guy who likes to have players who really want to win, players who have a target, you know, a big target. So, yeah, I'm there for to, to play whoever he wants, you know, for to... When he, he put me in the pitch, I'm ready to, to die for the club, so, yeah, yeah. What, what are your targets? You're a young player, many, yeah. many years ahead of you, but is there something you dream of doing? Yeah, just take day by day, you know. I don't want to expose my target, but this is a big target, so I will try to, to improve this. Who's your favourite United French player? Let's say Raphael Varane. We've mentioned Raphael Varane, but there are other amazing French players who have represented Manchester United, starting with Eric Cantona, but also some other great defenders like Sylvester and Laurent Blanc and Patrice Evra. Mm. How does it feel to join that club and represent your country at Old Trafford? Yeah, it's of course there is not a lot of French players now in the team, so for me to represent French in England in, in this club is really an honour for me. But uh, yeah, a lot of uh, French players go in United and this is an honour for me to, to join them. Yeah. And at United you won't be the only young player, it's a club with a history of bringing academy players through. And at the moment, you've got Alejandro Garnacho, Kobe Mainu, 
Rasmus Hoyland, Ahmad, who have both joined in recent years. How exciting is it to join a team with other young, developing talents you can, you can grow together? Yeah, this, I think this will help me a lot because when there is a young player, you know, it's more easy for you to adapt to the, the country, to the team. So, yeah, I'm really close to, to Kobe, so this will, will help me a lot. Has Kobe got in touch yet to say hello? Yeah, yeah, yeah. send me a message, yeah. yeah. And he's a really good guy, and I'm really excited to, to see him in the pitch, yeah. Yeah. We have a message from someone who you've, I think, spoken to quite a lot already, but I'll let you over there. <laughs> I'll let you ever watch through. Lenny, Lenny, Lenny. <laughs> How you doing, bro? Listen, congratulations. Welcome to Manchester United, man. I wish you all the best. Um, I know you're going to work hard. And that's the secret, man. Work hard, work hard, work, work, work on all your parts of your game. You got all the potential, you got all the tools, man. You got everything there, ready to rock and roll, to go and make a big impact of this club. It's the best club in the world. It's a beautiful place to be. Go and enjoy yourself, man. All right, and I'll see you soon. Good luck. Good luck, man. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Learn it, learn it, learn it. It's crazy. What do you make of that? Thank you, Ferdinand. This is a legend in Man United. So for me, this is an honor. This is a big defender. Legend, so yeah, big honor for me. When did you first talk to Rio? It was like two weeks ago. He called me, so first of all, I was really impressive to, yeah. to speak with him. And yeah, we spoke like 10 minutes about the Man United, so he helped me a lot to make my choice. It was really an honor to speak with him. And what did he say in those first 10 minutes when you spoke? Mainly about the club, what it's like? Yeah, he spoke to me about the club. Then this is a historic club with a big story. And if I go there, I need to, to fight for the club, to, to be ready because this is the biggest club in the, in the world. So yeah, for me, it was really good to speak about this. And yeah. How much did you watch Rio when you, were, when you were young, when you were a kid? When I was younger, yeah, Rio was one of the best defenders in the world. So yeah, I think everyone watched the United when he was young, and for me it was a dream to play for this club. It was quite a special defence. Yeah. Neville, Brown, or Rafael, and then Rio, Vidic, Evra. Only big defender in this team. Yeah. And it's really crazy how United have to, to have big defender like this. It's really crazy. Do you remember the first United game that you watched, or what the first kind of time that you watched? Maybe. <sighs> How old, how old are you? Maybe five, six, seven? Yeah, maybe because my dad uh, watched a lot of uh, Premier League games. Right. So when I was young, I was with him to, to see Premier League game. But yeah, United was really impressive when I was young. So. Hi United fans, it's Lenny Rowe. I'm excited to be in this club. What are your first memories of football? Where did you play? With who did you play? 